We're gonna go a little thicker and bigger for you, okay? Perfect. <laughs> Ready? Girl, I heard through the grapevine that this might be a relaxing beauty trip. Why does it happen every time? Like finding a needle in a haystack. Oh, I think I know. I don't want to guess because everyone just gets mad at me. There's only a few things that involve needles. I just heard them like talking about that it's going to be relaxing. So I was like, okay, massage, but we've done so Acupuncture. many- Acupuncture. I know, that's okay. what I was thinking. So I don't care if you guys are mad at us because what You're else- You're telling we... the truth. We're not getting tattoos and that would be the only other needle thing. Yeah. So I've always wanted to do acupuncture. Same. I just got diagnosed with fibroids. Yes. Which are very common, you guys. Very common. Like. 70% of women have fibroids in their big tumors that grow inside of your uterus. But I want to get them to shrink, so I've heard that acupuncture helps it. And it also just helps with pain relief. Yeah. I think, because my mom gets it all the time because she has a bad back and she had some hip problems. Yeah. And she used to get it very often. Are you afraid of needles, though? Like, I was going to ask you that. I've never had a problem with needles. A lot of people, if you don't look at it. Yeah, I don't In like acupuncture, to look at you're it. not looking at it. Um, sorry again that we guessed it, guys. Takes away the... Fun of it. Watch as we get there, and it's absolutely not. And we're literally finding a needle in there. We're going to burn! Oh, hello. Well, hello. It's so zen in here. I know. Hey, it does Aaron. smell. Aaron, Robert. Oh, there's a dog. Hi. I'm Lily. Hey, Lily. Nice to meet nice you. Hi, Dakota. Hello. Rabbit company. Sorry, we get distracted. No, by please. Oh, That's hi. Um... Okay, so I'm assuming we're not doing dog therapy. It smells really good in here. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Acupuncture. <gasps> yeah, we guessed it. We guessed it in the car. <laughs> yeah, we're... I heard that one of you has a little bit of a back yes. issue. Yes, muscle yeah. spasm. And I actually have, I just got diagnosed with fibroid. Is it affecting your menstrual cycle? Are you off? Um, My menstrual cycle is okay. Pain? Lots of pain. Low back or yes, front? Yes, lower back. Better with warmth? Yeah. Okay. You've done this I was before. Like, you know so much already. Are you going to fix this? We can, yeah. Okay. A little combination of acupuncture, maybe some herbs. Oh, I love we herbs. love herbs. Not that herb. I didn't feel vulnerable until I put on these loosey goosey shorts. They look comfy though. Those they are the are. girl shorts. Did you want the boy shorts? They cover more. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not the coverage. It's just, it's just so it's loose like in there. Pants. <laughs> it's like... so loose in there. <laughs> I can't help with that, but. <laughs> Let me see your tongue. What? So the tongue is a diagnostic technique that we use. It's an organ of the body that you can see, and it reflects things like hot and cold in the body, right? Do you as a person, for example, run hot or cold? Yeah, I'm always cold. Right, so your tongue is gonna probably be a little bit more on the pale side. So let's say this is your tongue. Uh -huh. This is the back of the tongue. Uh -huh. This is the middle front. These things that have to do with the kidney urinary bladder are here, uh, spleen stomach, Lung, heart, liver, gallbladder on the side. So <gasps> things that show up in those areas of the tongues reflect That's things to do with cool. those Oh my god, I feel like you're going to tell us that so many things are wrong with us. <laughs> yeah, so relax it out a bit. Yeah, there we go. A little bit geographic, a touch on the pale side, red tip. And you see how it's kind of like a little bit of teeth marks are kind of peeled on the sides there? <laughs> I'm she's got. I'm going to have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> One more. And see that little crack right there sort yeah. of towards the lung spleen? It's almost more lung. You, were you a smoker at some point? No, I've never smoked. Okay, good. What does that mean? Well, I just have a little lung deficiency there. Oh no. So, I do have to poop a lot, <laughs> if that matters. That's interesting because the lung, large intestine are the paired organs. So maybe it has to do with that. I have a lot that. of poop stuck inside of me. <laughs> oh my God. Do they hurt? Certain parts of the body are more sensitive than others, but for the most part, you can usually get a couple of needles in people when they don't really even notice it. I mean, you're under a lot of pressure here with your cameras and all that kind of stuff, so maybe you're gonna be a little sensitive, but honestly, if you were to like, if I did like some distraction techniques, you'd be like, oh, you put one in? You should sing for us. Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe. I wanna be where the people are. I wanna sing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that was two, you just see? Stuck me with something, didn't I told you? you, yeah. I kind of so slipped two. a couple in there. But what I love about what just happened is I feel like there's an electric shock that's connecting them. That's good. Like You're I feel feeling like there's the... a power line going from my knee to my toe. So that's energy. That's what the Chinese use to help heal, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously you're a professional, so you know, but like, how do you, how does that Yeah, happen? so each point corresponds to what they call channel pathology or organ pathology. So this is liver channel here. 
right? So I did liver three, it's a, a big point for the liver. This is a spleen point, and it's gonna flow up there as well. And then when I come around the other side, I'll probably switch up and maybe do the kidney, which flows through here also. So we'll, we'll do like distant points that flow through the area to get the energy moving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're intrigued. Let's palpate for some ovaries. Oh man, yeah, you are, uh, wow. Oh, wow, that's how big uh, You've had these measured? Here. A lot of the size of like golf ball. How's your diet? She just went on a plant-based diet for the last uh, three weeks. Okay, that'll help. But then they told her that it didn't matter. It <laughs> and does. then she ate in and out. And I'm gonna need lots of burgers. So what is that doing to the fibroid? Help break up stagnation, bring the energy through. Kind of like when you felt this one go in, you're like, oh, I feel it kind of going up through yeah, here, right? So it's that channel also it. flows up this way and comes right up through the uterus, yeah. ends up actually connecting right up here in the base of the eye. Do you do it on people's faces? Mm -hmm. Sure, <laughs> migraines. Right, people who get migraines oh, yeah. and headaches, right? Now, just a side note, this yes. is a little tight. Like, I feel it. The it was very tight going in. Okay. I'm gonna fly around the same page. We all, right, <laughs> double entendre. I'm Good. sure. So, let's do a couple of points also, just for. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Did that just it's happen? In. It's in. Oh. It's in. <laughs> oh my gosh. How's that feel? It feels great. Yeah. Wait. wait. It's in. Stop. I have <laughs> needles in me right now. There's two needles in your head. I can't even see it, but I, that's so weird. Um, oh, that's okay. Ooh. Ow, that one hurt. Did you see the finger move there? Did you feel that? Yeah, it's a reflex Nice energy movement on that one. I can feel little pulsations, definitely in my abdomen. Yeah, well there you're gonna definitely feel it. But that's, that's a pretty tight, dense, packed fibroid there. It's basically kind of like a phlegm stagnation thing in Chinese medicine. I. The amount of times that phlegm has been brought up today. I see ah. a hakalugi and she ah. can, and she's really good at it. I wake up in the morning and yeah. I'm just clogged with phlegm, and it just feels really swollen, and I have to like get it all out. She and knows she how. can't. Interesting. I really think we should take a look I'll at your look tongue. At her tongue. It's not super coated. It's definitely a little bit more red than yours. So she's got more heat. Can you mm. put it out a little further now? Touch dusky too. So just a little bit of blood stagnation as well. Red tip, bigger stomach crack. That one was the tightest. Yeah, that's that way in a lot of people. So this is the the command point of the face and head. Really Call though, back to a joke. I feel like they're still in. Is that a normal thing? Yeah, the energy's gonna kind of keep moving for a little while. You can relax that toe, by the way. Wow, you're all scrunched up. Are you all right? I'm okay. okay. Are they scrunched? I think you just have weird toes. <laughs> I know it's because I hide them because they're ugly. <laughs> oh. So I curl them down. Self conscious so of her don't, like, If you can't see them, you won't know how gnarly they are. Right. <laughs> We'll okay, it's my turn. turn. Have you had acupuncture before? No. Okay, so bigger needles then, right? So. Oh, perfect. Oh, I'm te teasing, I'm teasing. <laughs> Is it closer to your shoulder, Lil? That's or? exactly where he's pressing. Mm. I think you said radiates yep. up. Yep, yep. Oh, I feel it for her. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that was two needles. You were okay, right? Yeah, barely failed at all. Psst, brilliant. There you go. Oh, did you feel that one? I mean, I feel like a little prick right away, but then it's fine. So. So how deep could they possibly go? Like an inch? Uh, even more, depending on the area, yeah, yeah. You can go deeper? Yeah, so like there's the point in the calf and in the shin where you can go uh, probably two, three inches. Oh my god, really? Do people ever bleed? Sure, yeah, a little bit. Okay. I totally do feel a tingling on my head where you put that. Good, well that's that's the point to make you smarter. Oh, I well I need that, so good. You seem to be like totally no problem with the needle, so maybe we'll go for a little thicker. We're gonna go a little thicker and bigger for you, okay? Mm, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there we go, did you feel a little jump? Yep. Did it jump, her muscle mm -hmm. jumped? Yeah, so that's a good release, mm -hmm. trigger point. It's pretty tight too. Can you feel that, Liz? I mean, yeah, but like, then it goes away. So how many needles can you put in someone's Yeah, body? like what's the maximum? A lot. So I had a patient earlier today, a yoga teacher. It's basically kind of like, I'll do what I think, and then I'm like, okay, now what do you want? I mean, I know her really well. And she'll have me do probably another 30 or 40 needles. Oh my God. Yeah. On top of what you already On top of what so I already did. So what is it, like 100? I think I opened probably seven packs. So yeah, like 70. Wow. And with her, I just start freehanding. So I'll use a guide tube here, oh. right? I can get really specific. I can tap, it goes in, doesn't hurt much. Whereas if we do a freehand and you just kind of thunk, you kind of put it in. So like, let's say, I would just kind of go like that. Oh, uh, did you, that feel different? No. Okay. <laughs> That's because I'm so good. You're so You're good. You're so talented. <laughs> Can I have a really serious question? What is your emergency earthquake evacuation? <laughs> <laughs> if 
there is an earthquake right now, <laughs> what happens to Lily? She doesn't have her shirt on, and then she has all these needles stuck in. Like, what does she do? Yeah, so I've heard this happen to somebody in San Diego. Uh, what? I would just run out in the street like that. I've gotten up and walked around with needles in me. It you does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little pinchy. You like it's not comfortable. Do you ever put any in the butt? Sure. Yeah, definitely in the glutes. Big ones, bigger than those. Yeah, I was gonna say that would have to go in so deep, like, wouldn't it? Because to get through all the fat. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa! Dun. You want that? You Holy want? Shit. <laughs> Are you lighting up a joint? What <laughs> is this? What? So this is moxibustion, <laughs> mugwort herb. It's <laughs> that sounds like a Harry Potter character. It does, right? I mugwort. The same thing. Normally, you would take this and when it's warm, you kind of put it up next to the needle and it warms the area. The, the heat goes down the needle into the muscle and helps it to relax. So we'll just kind of rub it up next to it. I keep a finger there so I can tell if it's getting too hot. You feel that going down the needle yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. You can feel that in, in the needle? I mean, I wouldn't get that specific with it. So is it really warm, Lils? It's just like comfort, comfortingly warm. Yeah, is that's that a it. word? That's exactly it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but why didn't you do that to me? you're not important enough. I don't like you as much. <laughs> hey, I know. Let's do a couple in your ear. Oh. Because. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, learning. Learning is yes, happening. learning is fun. The entire body can be represented in the ear, right? They say it's almost like a baby is turned up on its head, right? The head is here and then it wraps up around this way. Ooh, take a look. Oh my gosh, there's yeah. so many things. So for you. I see testicles right. in there. So for you, we're gonna do up in this area, right? Like so neck, shoulder, cervical area. Okay. Like so it's cervical, thoracic, shoulder. Oh. Go for yeah. it. And we'll palpate, we'll see which is most sensitive, and then we'll put okay. some needles in there. Let's do it. Word. All right, so right away, we can always see that there's a little bit of redness in this area, which means there's an acute condition. It turns white when there's more of a chronic condition. Yeah. Just tell me if any of these are painful. One, two, three, four, five, six, mm. oh! seven. So right, <laughs> so see, up here in the shoulder, not so much. Once we got down to the cervical area, mm -hmm. neck, so yours is actually kind of... No! Yeah, I know. That's okay. Let's Did do it one really? more. No, it's fine. Bad. Let's do no. one more. I was it's, being dramatic. It's just going in. It's not so bad once it's uh, once it's in there. No! Whoa! 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 Feeling smarter already, Oh you? my god, tingles through my entire body. It's Goosebumps. Like you felt it down the side, didn't oh you? Oh my god, down my legs. Yeah, it's so cool. I like want to know what it feels like. I want to. I. It's nothing like. It's more when it first goes in. Like now, I feel fine. Come here, put your head down. You feel like you're like. I feel like you're like doing. We're doing drugs underneath the bridge <laughs> or something. <laughs> are you really? Are you really? Can you do it? My, are you doing my ear? Where are you doing it? I was going to do it on the top of the head. You said oh. you wanted to know what it I felt don't know, like. I don't know if I did. I was making it up. I lied. Dude, Ow! Wow, that's deep. Wait, you're not going to hurt me, are you? Uh, not much. Lily, it's just a little pinch. Just, will you test so, it out? Just tell me like. Sensitive? You know. One, two, mm. three, four, five. Mm. Not so much, let's five, just do five stress. Five was good, no, five was let's good. Let's just do stress. Okay. There we go. Do I have it in, Is it in your ear? My ear? You do. Do you know what? I feel different right now. Your points are very powerful. I kind of feel really relaxed right now. Good. I think we should put a little topical on here as well. So there's some topical herbs that we can spray on here that have herbs in them that move the blood, break up stagnation, or we could put on some herbal warming patches. I'm just gonna put it on my hand first and rub it on. Otherwise, you, you have that shock factor, which no one seems to like, because it's kind of cold. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So let's put a patch on her also. Can we come up like this high? Sure. Because this is where I was yep. feeling it the most, like this all the way into the... It's like it starts at a knot further down and then it just creates knots all the way going up. Oh, yeah. it's like icy hot. Yeah, oh. exactly. Hope you can take that off tonight when you're home alone. Hope you've got a good reach. <laughs> I feel great. Yeah, because you, you seem uh, like you had a big change when you were in there. I, like... I don't even know how to describe it. I, Cause you've seen me the last two days. I, this happens to me a lot, you guys. I literally get so tense that I like have to stay home and lay on my wood floor. Yeah. I can move. You can move. Do you feel? I, like, I don't feel it at all. That's amazing from one session. Don't, I literally don't feel the pain that was there yesterday. I kind of feel a little high. The one in my abdomen, there was like a release when yeah. you took it out. Like I kind of feel like relaxed. That's your like, oh, I can breathe again. Yeah. Yeah, it was really interesting. These patches are intense. Are they cold? It's cold now. Yeah. It was, it, I don't know, it's weird. I don't know. Yes. This is great. I highly recommend to everyone. <laughs> like if you aren't freaked out by needles, go try it. Cause I, I literally, I it. could not turn to like drive earlier. <laughs>
Like, I know, this, this is, is like a life-changing moment. I'm so happy. <laughs> Guys, if you have any more suggestions like this, leave them in the comments below and then come back every Thursday. Because we like doing this for free <laughs> yeah, for our jobs. Please, let please us keep, doing keep it. coming back. <laughs> Bye. For even more weird beauty tripping, click to the left because we tried aerial acrobatics. It was really hard and I hurt myself. Or click to the right to see the latest episode of That Got Weird, where things get real weird.